to realize. To understand this, the Lord of the Bible, the Lord of Israel, gives us two prophecies in one. He gives us two of the most incredible prophecies in one. It's the 2,300-day prophecy and the 70-week prophecy. Now, some of us might know about that, but these two prophecies link together and they show the most incredible parallels in the sanctuary. Daniel 8 explains that Daniel is having a vision. And Daniel asks the question, How long shall be the vision concerning the daily sacrifice and the transgression of desolation to give both the sanctuary and the host to be trodden underfoot? And he, this is Gabriel speaking, said unto me, Unto 2,300 days, then shall the sanctuary be cleansed. Here's a, a, a very difficult uh, vision for Daniel to understand. And he's saying to Daniel's asking the question, but how long is the stuff that I've been showing, how long is this going to continue? And he says, well, it's going to continue for 2,300 days. So all, we don't know when it starts and we don't know when it ends. You see these two arrows? We, we don't know when it starts and we don't know when it ends. But we know that it's a portion or a period of 2,300 days that something is going to happen. And then he said unto me, understand, O son of man, for at the time of the end shall be the vision. Meaning, don't worry about the vision specifically for your generation. This vision I'm giving you is for the end, the time of the end. In other words, the end of the world. So somehow this is going to link quite specifically into Revelation and the final events, etc., etc. So 2,300 days, that's all we know. We don't know when it starts and therefore we don't know when it ends. And Daniel is still battling with his vision. So eventually Gabriel comes back and comes and gives him more, un more understanding. Let's read what it says in Daniel 9, verse 20 to 23. While I was speaking and praying and confessing my sin and the sin of my people Israel, yea, while I was speaking in prayer, even the man Gabriel, whom I had seen in the vision at the beginning, touched me about the time of the evening oblation. And he said, O Daniel... I am now come forth to give thee skill and understanding. I am come to show thee. Therefore, understand the matter and consider the vision. So Gabriel is here coming to Daniel and giving him understanding on the vision that Daniel ate, the vision that we've just looked at quickly. He's come back to give him more understanding, what he calls skill and understanding. And then he starts going into an explanation in verse 24 of that 2,300-day prophecy. Read it with me. 70 weeks, in other words, 70 weeks of that 2,300 are somehow determined or cut off upon thy people and upon thy holy city to finish the transgression, to make an end of sins, to make reconciliation for iniquity, to bring in everlasting righteousness and to anoint the most holy. So there's going to be a portion of that 2,300 days that has specifically to do with the, thy people, he's speaking to Daniel, thy people is Israel, the Jews, and thy holy city, which is Jerusalem. So if you look at the timeline again, you see the 2,300 days. We don't know when it starts, we don't know when it ends. But there's a portion of that which is somehow cut off for something else. It's called the 70-week prophecy. Now, I want to take you first to 2 Peter 1 verse 20 that specifically says, knowing this first, that no prophecy of Scripture is of any private interpretation. That's very, very important to understand that I cannot tell you what Bible prophecy means. You cannot tell me what Bible prophecy means. You know, the symbols like the beasts and the horns and the winds and the... We have to ask the Bible, please, Mr. Bible, can you tell me what is a horn in the Bible? And the Bible will clearly tell us those 10 horns are 10 kings. Uh, please, Mr. Bible, can you tell us what are four beasts in, the Revel in, in Daniel 8? And he'll tell us, or in Daniel 7's vision, he'll say those four beasts are four kingdoms. So we don't have to interpret the Bible ourselves. We can find out what the Bible says the Bible says. So no prophecy of Scripture is of any private interpretation. So we therefore have to go back to the Bible and say, right, you, Lord, are giving me a prophecy about 2,300 days. Please, can you, in the Bible, explain to me how long is 2,300 days? It's quite easy. 
Ezekiel 4 verse 6 tells us that when you're reading prophetic language, please understand that I have appointed thee each day for a year. What does that mean? Well, Numbers gives us another example. After the number of days in which you search the land, even 40 days, each day for a year shall you bear your iniquities even 40 years, and you shall know my breach of promise. What, what he's saying here is in prophetic language, understand that uh, the, a day will equal a year. What do I mean? Well, 2,300 days each day for a year means that that period will actually be 2,300 years. Therefore, 70 weeks, 70 times 7 is 490. 70 weeks, 70, uh, 490 days, taking one day for a year, based on the Bible speaking about prophetic language, we take that period to actually be 490 years. So we have a prophecy here of 2,300 days, actually pointing to 2,300 years. So a prophetic scale, you can quite clearly see, one day equals one year. A prophetic week is one a week of seven days, therefore is seven years. 